Hello, John Carling, CEO at Tokamak Energy. Well, 2020 has been a roller coaster ride. It started with a fantastic funding round, which has supported all the work that we're doing this year and beyond. Then we were hit, as was the whole world, by the shock of the global pandemic. Fantastic adaptability shown by the team. This is, has been a year around a big upgrade for SD40 and the build of the Demo 4 Magnet and the way that the team has coped with everything and managed to maintain progress through all of that has just been fantastic. I'm so proud of everyone. We made some really big upgrades to ST40 this year. The most noticeable one is that we've added cryogenic cooling to the magnets. That means that we now have an outer vacuum vessel and inside there the magnets are cooled by liquid nitrogen. Each magnet's cooling system is independently controlled. Because the magnets are cooler, that means we can run a higher magnetic field, three tesla inside the plasma on this device. We've also added a second neutral beam so that we can heat up the plasma more. The team have done an amazing job installing a new diverter on the machine. That's the part of the machine that uh, takes away heat from the top and bottom of the plasma and the new diverter will allow us to run more elongated plasmas and allow us to increase uh, the efficiency of the machine. We've upgraded our control systems and our diagnostic systems so that when we're running at a higher performance, we can get the critical measurements about temperature, pressure and energy confinement. We had hoped to be running the 100 million degree C program this year We've had some delays for obvious reasons and I'm really pleased that the machines now come together and we expect to be running in the early part of 2021 when we'll be able to show what a high field spherical tokamak is really capable of. In the next stage of testing of SC40, there will be some actual neutrons being produced and of course this device doesn't have the blanket that takes those and turns them into heat and electricity. So instead we'll be constructing a shield around the machine and if you look at the blue lines on the ground, that's where it's going to be. So this is one of the last times you'll be able to see ST40 uh, without that shield around it. In 2021 we'll also be testing the Demo 4 magnet which will be complete. That's a large set of HTS magnets capable of running at uh, more than 20 Tesla and that gives us good confidence for the magnet designs that will go into STF1. We'll be announcing the site for STF1 and also completing its concept design. Through these achievements we expect there to be continued and increased investor interest and I'm sure that dealing with that will keep us busy as well. The team has grown, we've hired a lot of people, we've won a fantastic government grant for 10 million pounds as part of the Advanced Modular Reactor Programme and we've grown in so many other ways this year. Lots of new talent and new people coming into the business. You're all welcome to the team and you've all made a difference this year. I'm so proud of each team member the engineering team, the science team, supply chain, quality, commercial, finance, everybody's done a fantastic job and everybody's had to adapt and change. We pride ourselves on being agile and we've certainly been extremely agile in the way we've shown that we can adapt and move fast even when circumstances are really trying to hold us back. I'd like to say thank you to every team member at Tokamak Energy for the effort you've put in this year. It is so appreciated by me and the rest of the leadership team.